This is Tommy the Smoke Detector. Tommy the Smoke Detector hasn't always looked like this. Tommy was built in Japan in 1993 on a factory line in Nagasaki. As a child, Tommy didn't have very many friends. He spent most of his younger days in a box, sitting in a warehouse, waiting to be bought. After three long years of dreaming about a home of his own, Tommy was finally bought. Tommy's new family, the Johnsons, were a very friendly family, a very loving family. They were very adventurous and outdoorsy. They did all sorts of activities. Tommy was installed onto the roof of the Johnson's family home in the summer of 1996. The safety of their family was the Johnson's main priority in the purchase of Tommy. They tested him regularly and changed his batteries year upon year. He sat on the roof for over 10 years as the only line of defense against fire. The decision to use Tommy as the only line of defense against fire cost the Johnson family their lives. and two children have lost their lives in a house fire. The fire started around 12.30 this morning inside. Tommy was the only survivor. He wanted to warn the Johnsons of the impending fire danger, but unfortunately, due to a condition unknown by the family, he was unable to. A condition Tommy had since he was born but was unaware of until the fire started on that fateful morning. <coughs> Tommy is asthmatic. After the fire, consumed by guilt, Tommy became addicted to methamphetamines and started hanging out with the wrong crowd. Alright, what's happening? Michael Lee here. I'm about to destroy a fire alarm detector thing with a drumstick. Ready for this Bam! That's how we do it. Tommy survived the savage attack, but swelled deeper and deeper into a depression which he could not get out of. In 2002, Tommy tried to kill himself. While high on an assortment of drugs, Tommy went into a crack house. He proceeded to sit himself on the wall and beep away, full knowing the consequences of his actions. After a suicide attempt, Tommy was sent to a mental hospital. During his stay in the mental hospital, he killed another inpatient. He was sent to prison on a six-year term. Tommy now dedicates his life spreading awareness of asthmatic smoke detectors. He opened his own center of asthmatic awareness and has meetings every Thursday.